Hey guys, it's Margaret, and today I'm bringing you a video about me quitting Amazon FBA and also a bit about my 2017 business goals going forward. Uh, so, welcome, and I hope you enjoy. I was just talking to Anne of CN Save this morning because I was preparing for this video and thinking about it, kind of outlining it, trying to figure out what I was going to talk about with Amazon. And then I saw she put up a similar, well, not a similar video, but she was talking in her video about uh, quitting Amazon as well. So I messaged her and was like, hey girl, just FYI. I think we're thinking alike here because I'm doing the same thing and I'm about to put a video out and I just wanted you to know, I'm not ripping you off. So I went back and I watched the video, not went back, but I went and watched the video this morning and sure enough, we have very similar reasons for why we are pulling the plug on Amazon. So if you want, go check her out. Hand, um, and of CN say. So, hello over in the chat. I see going on Grumpy over there in One Witch Lady. Hi, Mark and Loretta. Hey, Mario and Vinny. How are you doing, Vincent? Hello, River City and Loretta. Is saying hi to everybody else. <laughs> I'm saying your name again. Hey, Catherine and Darren. Hello. Oh, wow. We got quite a crew. Hey, Deb. Oh, Joni. Hey, how's it going? And Jessica and Colleen. Colleen says she's decided to quit too. Uh, Skunk -a Cody, like your name, and some Oz mom, and I may have said your name again, but hey, Jessica, Jill, and River City Creative. Yay! River City says she watched and yesterday. Yes. <laughs> I saw that. I was getting ready to schedule this, and I saw her video in my, like, you know, subscriptions that pop up. And I was like, oh, dude, she's going to think I'm copying her. So, yeah. Georgina says, how did your hair grow so fast? I don't know. I usually have super slow growing hair. Hey, Amy, and, and if you're watching this later, and and because I get these comments frequently, like, jump to whatever time in the video, you just need to know this is me and <laughs> my style. I'll meander, and we'll get there. I'll get there when I get there, and you can wait for it or not. So <laughs> I'd love for you to wait for it. Um, Joni says, I pulled all the inventory when it was free to remove. You are very smart. <laughs> I'll just say that I wish I had pulled more at this point. So, oh, thanks, one witch lady. Yeah, she says I I love that. I'm she loves that I'm chatty. So I do. I have to. So anyway, um, yes. Before I get started, speaking of meandering and getting there eventually, um, because I don't you know make just a separate video for hey thank you my friend mail. Um, so I have a couple of friend mails that I didn't get to share, and I'll, I like to share them. And this is from Kate. If you if you watch Kate's uh, place, I don't know if she calls it Kate's place DIY anymore, but Kate sent me a nice Christmas card. And then so did Andrea and Nick doo -doo, from the UK. If you don't watch them, Nick Hills, UK reseller, don't get my tinsel in a tangle. Yeah. So anyway, lovely friends that I've met through my wonderful YouTube community. Thank you so much. Um, Oh yes, Lorraine says, I was hoping they would do free again on the FBA, yeah, I'm gonna get there. I agree. Um, so, hey Leah, hello, TL Treasures. And, oh, my professionalism, thank you. She says, I love the professionalism. Thanks. <laughs> Not the maturity though. <laughs> okay, and then, and then one more thing. I got, my sister came in and she, get, she, get, she brought me a Christmas present. Look what she brought me. She brought me two, not one, but two of these. Um, and I was just checking my inventory, and I they've been selling steadily, not as fast as they used to, but they still sell settled steadily. And I think I only have two listed still, so yay. <laughs> these I pick up. Well, she bought these for about three bucks each. I usually pay about a buck or two, and then um, sell them for about 20, 25 bucks. So that's a little bolo that I, I still I still love it and she started making soap too I'll show you that <laughs> I did not lure you here on false pretenses to show you mail and and soap I promise <laughs> but I don't get to you know shout people out you know just I don't ah, I do but I don't if you know what I mean probably not okay <laughs> so now I'll jump into it where are we in the video so I can note it down below okay 52 viewers so yes, as the uh, title suggests, I am pulling out of Amazon FBA um, because I got an email. See, I've always, the, the fees have never bothered me so much in the past. 
um, because they were not um, on individual items. So they were, you know, more for, for bulk type items. And I was like, that's awesome because I don't do a whole lot of large quantity things. So my fees were never really, <clears throat> really great uh, or really huge. But, and then they had these last two, you know, free, you can have your things removed for free and sent back to you. And I, I had some things sent home, not a whole, whole lot. And then I got an email. <laughs> and if you are on Amazon FBA, you probably got this same email. So it's basically saying, you know, we're cleaning up the inventory and we're assessing new fees. And here is the, you know, the fees that you're going to have. And I about had a heart attack. <laughs> Just a little one. I'm gonna screen share for you what my fees were estimated to be because I have a lot of things that have been there for a while and a lot of long tail items. So here is a screenshot of this and right here, you can see that for six to 12 months, 61 units, so my fees are 48 bucks, I can live with that. But more than 12 months, 670 units and my fee would be $536.32. Yeah, so um, I wasn't really down with that. <laughs> and again, I had to go back and double check because I was like, maybe they're going to do another, you know, free pullout. Nope, we are not planning a free removal promotion prior to February 15th. That's when the new fees will be assessed. So, yeah, ouch is right, Darren. <laughs> ouch. So, I went in to look and see what am I going to do about this because I don't like that. I mean, it's live. If I leave it there, that's what's going to happen. So um, my strategy going forward, at first I went through and was like, okay, I'm going to start pulling things. I'm just going to start pulling. So um, I was trying to be smart about it, I thought. And I'm like, okay, I have, you know, all of these Doctor Who VHS, like vintage Doctor Who VHS. I'm going to pull all those in one removal order so they all come back in one box. And then I'll list, you know, that set on, on eBay. And then, you know, similar things like that. So I made about three or four removal orders like that. And then I was like, wait a minute. Um, maybe, maybe I need to rethink this. So I set, you know, because I kind of panicked when I saw that. And I just panicked. And if you know me, like I know me. <laughs> Sometimes I do things and I don't think them through all the way first. I, you know, I'm one of those, I don't look before I leap and then I have to rein myself back in or hopefully I have friends that say, whoa, Margaret, slow your roll. Um, but <laughs> I didn't have anybody saying that to me. So uh, I had to slow down. So I waited a day and then I thought, okay, what I'm going to do is go through and drop my prices. So I went through because my hope is that my things that I am not really wanting, because there's some of the stuff coming back, I don't want it, you know? What am I gonna do with a Barney VHS, you know? So I don't really want those things. So I went through and I went, and I there's an option in there to do match lowest price. So I match lowest price on pretty much all of the items. There are a few higher ticket items um, that are, you know, like porcelain arts books that I know I can get top dollar for. There's a Jean-Paul Gaultier, I think that's how you say his name, like fashion designer, like really nice big hardcover art book that was also um, a really high ticket item. So those ones I made sure that the prices stayed right around the same way and then the rest I just dropped the prices. Okay, let me, let me go say hey in the chat because it's moving really fast and then I will uh, come back and I saw some really good friends coming in. Hello. Hey, Anne. Okay. And Lorraine, I said, hey. I'm scrolling, scrolling. I know I saw some new people come in. Hey, Ads. How's it going? And Darren's there. Hey, Hixie. How are you? And yeah, the fees. Ouch. Uh, <laughs> TL, they should give us a free removal of the bloodsuckers. But they did. <laughs> they did. And I just, you know, it's like a gamble. It's life. Um, Colleen says, so glad I had all mine shipped back when they were free. Absolutely. A few people did too. Oh, look, there's Tanya. Hey, Tanya, I just figured out how to make you, <laughs> how to do the moderator thing again because I did it and I forgot and now I remember now. Okay. <laughs> so there's Leah and hey, Caroline and Crafts and Bargains and Tracy. Let's see. Any more comments there? Okay. Hey, from DC. So, um, yeah, they did. They gave two free removals and I did have some stuff brought back, but meh. Okay. So now what, what I'm decided to do is, now that I've dropped the items down pretty much to that um, 
what did I say? Match the lowest price. I went through and a whole bunch of stuff sold like within 24 hours, like, cause most of my stuff was long tail and I put good prices on it cause I was willing to wait because the fees were so good. So I went through and, you know, slashed the prices and a bunch of stuff sold. I mean, not for a high profit at all, but hopefully enough to cover the fees of removal or the fees of destroying those other things. Um, so yeah, like 24 items were either sold or pending within to me. Um, so that's the first step that I'm doing. And then I'm waiting because I'm going to probably wait till the 1st of February to do the reassess because then you've got 15 days. I'll have 15 days to make my final decision. I don't know if that FBA fee is going to hit, like if you already have a, a removal order So we'll see, but I want to have them out before that date. So there's no possibility that that might happen. I don't know. So um, at that point, what I'll do is take a look at what I want to have sent back to me. Is it something that I can sell on eBay or on a local site or hmm, what was my other option? <laughs> I can't remember. Um, so yeah, there's that. And the rest of the stuff I may just have, um, destroyed because it's 50 cents an item to have it returned to you 15 cents an item to have it destroyed so you know if it's like some things I really don't want to have sent back I can just get it destroyed um, and then also at that point I'll be able to write those things off as you know loss on my taxes you know just damage of property or destroy I'll have to ask my CPA how do you go about dealing with that so hopefully it won't be that big of a hit yeah so okay there were some more comments in the in the chat 65 viewers hey everybody hey sam um thrifting lister and mister says i never did fba just dabbling in fbm is that merchant fulfilled that's new I'm so glad now i think it's merchant fulfilled um oh thanks love the hair today thanks um georgina says she's gone i'm gone oh no um Am I going to do Merchant Fulfilled? Good question. This is one of those things that I, I thought, you know what, the, the things that I have returned, like say it's that Jean-Paul Gaultier, you know, designer book or the Horse of My Grandmother's China painting books, because those go for really good money. So at that point, I'll put them on eBay and then I'm going to see about playing around with um, cross-posting with Merchant Fulfilled. I've still never done Merchant Fulfilled. So I may have to have a little tutorial on that. So, and Catherine says garage sale. That's a, that's a possibility. It's going to be like 80 degrees this weekend, but yeah, not that it's going to be back this weekend. So there's, I mean, that is a possibility too, to do a garage sale for some of this stuff, but some of it's just, I don't even know, you know? Okay. Um, Joni says I sold stuff at a local auction and on eBay and then the hubby does a weekly garage sale. Nice. So you took stuff to the auction house. That's awesome. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, I'm looking at my notes because I did. I wrote notes. <laughs> so I talked about the fees, what I was, my strategy going forward, returns, um, the tax write-off. And then, so this the things I have sent back, another option is, and this also goes for, because I have a whole shelf full of games and puzzles and things that I was, pardon me, planning on sending in, but I hadn't sent them in yet. Um, so all of that stuff, and I sat down and talked to my husband, and first of all, my husband's very disappointed about all this because he loved the idea of Amazon FBA because it would get all the stuff out of the house. <laughs> so he would, he, that was the one thing over the holidays. He was like, Margaret, when are we getting these, these games sent in? Come on. You know, we need to get this stuff sent to F FBA. And I'm so glad I dawdled now. <laughs> so um, those things, the plan going forward is, one, things that are new and sealed, we're going to decide if we're going to put them on eBay or we've decided that we're going to take some of them and we have a, a you know shelf up in our closet that's a high up shelf that we're going to be putting some of like the new like toys or 
you know, mostly kids stuff um, to save for, you know, if the kids have a birthday party to go to, or this year we, our Boy Scout troop adopted a few families. And so we were compiling toys and things like that. So it'll be things that we, we save for, you know, donations or parties or things of that nature. So that's that. And so, I mean, so if you look at it that way, I'm like, all right, you know, I got, and I, I think I talked about this a bit Sunday. Um, you know, I got that brand new and sealed Lego Friends set for seven bucks at um, Goodwill the other day. Yeah, gift stash, good, going on grumpy. I think you told me that Sunday too, because I couldn't think of what we call it. Yeah, gift stash. <laughs> so yeah, having that up there so we can just go pull from that it will be a big stress reliever. <laughs> I'm getting a weird glare on my computer. Sorry, I keep wiggling it around. Okay, um, I'm looking down at my notes again. So yeah, I'm not, that's a lot of stuff to go through. So those things, we'll either do the gift stash or um, we're going to look into listing on eBay. And then another option is there's a local garage sale site that some of it might end up going on. Um, so that will also be in play to make a little bit of the money back. Hey, Barbara, how's it going? Um, so yeah, I, that'll be a chore to go through. But honestly, it's kind of like a relief to just have one less thing on my plate, one less thing in the back of my mind, like nagging at me or every time I see this shelf, actually it's a shelf and then there's like three tubs under my work table. Um, yeah, of stuff that's just like, hey, look at me. This is something else you haven't taken care of. Look at me, I'm here to you know annoy you. So, and then once that gets all cleared off, I'll have this whole big, it's like one of those big, metal shelves. So I'll have this big metal shelf to put more of my crap on and maybe get it off the floor in my <laughs> workroom. Uh, Charles says, what garage sale app? The, the one I use is called Virage Sale. It's like V, like for virtual garage sale. And um, I actually did a video on it. Fancy that. Um, where there's different communities. So like I'm in one for, that's all just like mommies. You know, so it's like only women, which is really nice for me because that's what I prefer. And then there's some for different counties around here. And um, so you can, when you go on to Virage Sale, it'll pop up all the ones that are close to you. Yeah. Hey, Tanya's back. <laughs> so I've never tried Offer Up or Let Go. And, I, and I, I've done Craigslist a couple times, but I've, I hear too many. I mean, I know people do great on it. But I've heard too many horror stories, and I'm too much. I'm too paranoid about things like that. That when I do sell, it's under my husband's name, and I have to have my dad or my husband with me when I go meet up. So, uh, yeah, yeah, garage sale. I like it a lot. <laughs> so yeah, so some things will go up there. I mean, I had all those stamps. I don't know if you remember that haul that I got at a garage sale. It was like all these like brand new stamps, like for crafters that I was going to send in the FBA. Um, I ended up putting those on garage sale. Some have sold. I mean, I think I paid, I don't know, a dollar or less for each of the sets. Um, yeah, it was less than a dollar because it was 20 bucks and there was way more than 20 of them there. Um, and so some have sold, but some are kind of sitting there. But I, I, it's kind of geared towards like teachers and things like that I think the stamps would be so it might be at the wrong time of year because teachers are not looking to stock up right now at all you know so let me take a peek in the chat and then I'll continue on um what about a kid shop like once upon a child that's a good idea I I have taken some things to once upon a child before Tanya and I actually went to it's called a thrift outlet where they sell, and I don't do a lot of clothes, but I did for this purpose. Like I went through there and um, picked out some really nice kids' clothes. And we even found some like designer kids' clothes there. And it's one of those places, it's not like the bins, but it's only clothes and shoes and handbags. And then like on one particular day, everything in the whole place is two bucks. And each day it drops down in price till the, finally the last day it's a quarter. Every item in there is a quarter. And then they shut down like half day that day, clear it out, new stuff, and start over the next time. So it's really kind of neat, but it is bonkers, bananas in there. <laughs> but I've, I've done that. We've done that and, you know, gotten things, and I've taken to Once Upon a Child. And there was another place in, in our town that does consignment who actually just called me this morning to let me know I had three pieces still there. And they're quitting doing consignment. Did I want the pieces back or do I want to donate them? Because they'll donate them to a local um, charity shop. 
And they also said, and you've got like 16 bucks ready in cash if you want to come get it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I forgot about that. So I need to go over and do um, that. Okay. Oh, my, I got off on my chat. Charles says, I have 40 tubs of unlisted stuff. I feel you. I feel you. Um, Georgina, I have to throw away boxes. It's hurting my eBay seller soul. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? What's wrong with you guys, Darren? Did I say something about girls only? Sorry. Or maybe it was something in the chat that I missed. Okay. Um, Karen says, I've been lowering my prices on FBA and selling a lot. And actually, I was finishing out watching Ann's video, and she said that too. From the beginning of her video, if you watch her, from the beginning, she's like, oh, I'm going to still send in some CDs. And then like she does where it's like a couple, she'll do a little snippets from each day. And then a couple days later, she's like, okay, no, I got this email. I'm out. And out, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, thanks, Jess Kim. Um, let's see. Must be a good time to shop on Amazon. Good point. You're right. Um, yeah, Tanya, I agree. I was thinking about going back to Thrift Town. Um, is that what it's called again? I can't remember. Yeah. Um, do I have a link to my Virage sale? I, I can drop a link to the Virage sale video in there later. Um, oh, thank you. So Ma's mom says, I like your necklace. I got this at an estate sale. And it, this, I don't know if you can see the chain. It's like, I can't remember if it's 10 karat gold or 14 karat gold. But this chain is like teensy tiny, And it was like in a knot, like a horrible, horrible knot. And I was all my way out of this um, estate sale and it was in the bottom of this particular box like sitting near the register and I was like picked up this knotted mess and I was like how much for this and she was like I can't remember it was less than a dollar she's like dime or a quarter she just threw out a chain you know like I'm like okay I will go home and pick this thing apart and yes so now it's one of my favorites <laughs> Margaret likes the deal look at me I did that again okay you got to call me out if you catch me calling myself Margaret or in the third person because that's weird. I caught myself doing that the other day Not cool. Okay, <laughs> Patty <laughs> Vintage switcher says I'm out of FBA too <clears throat> Okay, so uh, let's see So one thing I am gonna still use is the Amazon seller app um, Or on my phone the scanner because I still think it gives you know even though I'm not in Amazon or I am in even though I'm not sending in to <laughs> Adam says that's not weird. <laughs> Maybe not, but I don't know. So um, I'm going to still use the app because I think it still gives good information about, you know, whether or not I should buy something, if it's new and sealed. Um, even though I know prices can really vary on eBay or if I do merchant fulfilled with it. So let's see. There was something else I was going to say. And I was going to show some stuff. That's right. I was going to show some of the things. Um, <laughs> Darren says, when will you be honoring us with your presence across the pond in the UK? Could you do a ride along on the right side of the road? <laughs> I tell you what, I, I was joking with some of the guys about setting up a GoFundMe to GoFundMe to come over to the UK because that would be really fun. I would enjoy that. <laughs> I'm totally down, but I just can't afford it. And you know Randy's not going to let me go alone. I mean, seriously, he's... He's going to have to come with me. So it'll have to be a GoFundMe for Margaret plus one um, because I think I would get into way too much trouble. Yeah. <laughs> and one which lady says a UK trip isn't really that expensive. This is true. And I have an aunt um, and cousin who live, you know, not very far. Nick Hills, I'm stalking you. No, um, like 45 minutes in a, a town about 45 minutes away from where Nick lives. Um, my aunt lives. So it's like I have a place to stay. Or I, I'm sure I could like. I'm sure I could crash at Nick and Andrea's place. <laughs> no pressure there, right, guys? Okay, um, I was going to show you, because I have some screenshots up, or uh, some, here we go. One which lady says, where my family lives in a town called Waltham Abbey. Um, if you don't know this, my 